Hello everyone, Impiator here, and welcome back to my newcomer's guide for Elden Ring. This is part 48. In the last episode, we ended up completing pretty much all of the Deep Root Deaths, though there are a few items we need, still need to collect. So we, uh, in the last episode, very end, we ended up completing the, uh, the rune. So we now have the Mending Rune of the Death Prince. I do want to apologize about how long it's been since the last episode. Uh, I have COVID, and it has been a rough, rough experience. That being said, though, I'm on the mend. So hopefully we'll see some episodes in um, shorter shorter time frames. Anyway, we got a few items to pick up uh, that we did not pick up in the last episode. I was actually kind of rushed in the last episode. And I wanted to get through the actual core content, but I did skip out on a couple of uh, items that we're going to go pick up. So the first one is actually out on some of these routes. And the cool thing is, is since we've completed this place, we're not being attacked by any of the archers. So that's one definite plus right now. Next, we're gonna drop down here. Head inside, pick up a somber smithing stone seven. Next, we're going to make a, le a left out here over to the cliff, and we're going to start heading along it. Just past this, we've got another smithing stone. Over here we have an ash. Not a very good one, but going for collectathon if we can, so now we're heading to this little cave over here. This actually has a rune bear in it. So again, same kind of thing as before. Um Fire is really good against these enemies, as is slash damage. Um, I don't really have a combination of the two right now, so we'll go ahead and uh, give this guy a few hits with the Reduvia. Not dodge that like I was expecting I did. All right, he's done. So this one doesn't give us anything super special, but there are quite a few items in here to pick up, so not a bad idea. As you can see, you're also able to summon for this one, so if you are having problems with this one, no big deal. You can also just grab the items and run. Alright, so we've got all the items, I believe, that are out here. Uh, we're going to head back to Fia, because um, I picked up, again, the, the rune, but I did not pick up her gear. And you actually have to uh, rest before her gear will pop up uh, after you get the rune. Alright, so now we've got that done. Um, what we're going to be heading for next is going to be Noxtella. Noxtella is the second Eternal City. Uh, it's actually going to be required for progressing um, another quest line, another portion, I should say, of the quest line of, uh, of Ronnie. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick to show you kind of the uh, natural progression for that story. 
Um, and then after we finish up Noxtella, uh, we're not going to end up going all the way into the pit. Um, we're actually going to end up probably uh, heading to Lanedale and starting our uh, trek there. In fact, one of the ways to get into Lanedale is uh, that right behind us. But first, uh, let's go ahead and head over to War Counselor E.G. And generally, if you don't know, you know where Ronnie is at this point. You talk to him. He tells you that she's at uh, she took Rena's rise. My life, sir, it has been a long now, lady. I pray that you. He basically suggests that uh, you be the one to begin as her guide from this point forth. So I'll go ahead and buy up what he's got, and then uh, let's go ahead and head for Rena's rise. So we're gonna head for Ronnie's rise first. By the way, if you want to, you can attack the dragon at this point. He's not that bad to deal with. However, he will leave, and we won't see him again until a good bit later. We actually have to almost complete Ronnie's quest line. All right, so this is Rena's Rise. Um, this is one of the portals that you can use to get to Noxtella. Uh, the other one is actually over in this location. So I pointed that out previously uh, whenever we were near the Nameless Eternal City Grace. But since I am going for Ronnie's ending, um, I'm going to go through hers kind of the, the typical way. And in general, I still recommend going through going through Ronnie's quest line anyway, just because of all the things that you get in the process. Just because you go through a quest line doesn't mean you have to go through her ending. Same thing goes with Fia. Just because you complete Fia's quest line doesn't mean you have to go with Fia's ending. But ideally, we'll be on the track to do uh, either or, um, as well as any of the other choices that you want to go through as well, with basically the only exception being... We're not actually going to be doing um, the, oh shoot, what I call the evil ending. We'll talk more about that whenever we talk about the frenzied flame. So we just picked up a miniature Ronnie. If we head over here, by the way, this is where the other coffin will dump you. So obviously don't go beyond this point because you'll die. But this is normally where it'll show up, so the points are right next to each other. Anyway, so we picked up uh, picked up a miniature Ronnie. Um, this actually is Ronnie herself, but she is inside a doll at the moment. And we want to talk to Miniature Ronnie in order to uh, progress this quest line. She's not going to respond. Do it two more times, and then oh, she's going to respond. A dogged or is it me? Fight. I had an but now the perform eliminate the name of Rai will not. So she's given you a task to perform. However, it's going to be a little while before we actually complete that task because we're not going to fully uh, complete this area. So you might remember these enemies. They are just as irritating as they were before. So we got another one of these things.
And it's dead. We get another somber smithing stone seven. One of the reasons why we're coming here, by the way, is to get enough upgrade materials to go ahead and fully upgrade our uh, summon. So that and the stuff that's here, uh, at least until the uh, Lake of Rot, is actually pretty easy. So. This, by the way, is our destination. We're gonna go explore and grab some more items, though, out here first. Some more glove wart, and these are higher end glove wart. These guys can be dangerous, by the way, because they start hitting you over and over and over. Again, I'm just basically following the wall to pick up all the items along the outskirts before we go down the center path to our destination. More glove warts. Over here we got another ash. Stone sword key. Human bone shard. So now we are back uh, to the path that we came from. So now we're going to take the center path. Got a golden rune to pick up. If you didn't pick up the uh, glove wart that was here, pick it up. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the Miranda plant. But we got what we came for, so we're going to go ahead and continue. So there are some ants down here. These ones are a little bit more dangerous than the ants that we've dealt with up to this point because they really like to spit crap at you. Got some stimulating boluses. See how much damage that does? Yeah, don't want to get hit by that if we can avoid it. So as before, these things are a pain in the butt. Just try to stay behind them if you can. And that'll do it. So we got two routes. Uh, we got this route and we got this route. We're going to take the left route first. Because this leads us to an item that we've been uh, coveting for a while. 
You might remember whenever I pointed this out many, many, many episodes ago. So we are finally overlooking that area that we were in whenever we first came down here. So we are now back to the Ainsel River area, we're, but we're on the top section now. So this is the item that we were able to see. We're going to have to drop down first, though, in order to go pick it up. There's also a chest over here, too. So, got a new sword. This is a curved sword. Wing of Astel. Has a unique skill, Nebula. And finally, we got a somber smithing stone number six. Got the gold room. All right, so now we're heading down this road. Some more glove warts. So now we are in Noxtella, the Eternal City. So there's a path down this way. Let's go ahead and get the grace first, though. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once of the dem. Each of us was which is when I, I would not. I stole. I would not. The two thing and the bail. F so, talk to her anytime you see the option to talk to Ronnie. Um, going this route uh, is what I normally recommend doing second, but basically we're going to tackle the upper areas first before we basically tackle the lower areas. So come around here first. Got some magic grease. We got ourselves the uh, ant plate, ant, ant skull plate, type of great shield. <laughs> Butterflies if you're collecting them. Hand daggers. So these things. Bonk stick generally works really well for them. Once one of them dies, back off. Because it'll shock the other ones that are around it as it dies. So a massive chain reaction.
So we're gonna head around the back here first for an item. So these ones are a little bit tougher to deal with. I recommend getting behind them if you can. Just deal with them one at a time. And try not to get greedy. So we got another Ghost Glove Wart picking bell. So this is going to give us now the ability to get Ghost Glove Wart uh, up to 4, 5, and 6. Make sure to pick that up. So you see there's a ball over there. Keep aware of that. Because these things get kind of sneaky. There's another one. that we'll run into here in a little bit as well. So we got the puppets. I don't think there's anything on either side. Nope. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head up now. So it's kind of up to you how you want to deal with this. These things are kind of cheeky, as you can see. <laughs> Like usual, when you kill these, you're going to get larval tears. Only the first time you kill them, though. And some of them do actually respawn. Now, what's normally supposed to happen is you're supposed to go into uh, this room here. And you're not supposed to notice the fact that there's another one right there. So you end up going in, and then you end up basically getting uh, stuck between two of them. So, uh, know that there's one right here. We're going to go ahead and just hit it from afar.
And now we get Great Ghost Glove Wars. So, this is basically the final upgrade for any of the uh, Ghost Glove Wart based summons, including our main summon. So we don't yet have all of the uh, pieces required for it yet, but we're getting close. I don't think there's anything down these paths. On the ends here, no. Another larval tier. Uh, we'll do the bog stick. Another somber spithing stone. I recommend killing this one first. Because he hits like a truck. So now we got the Moon of Noxtella. Uh, this is actually a talisman that increases the number of memory slots that you get. Next, we're going to head out here.
All right, so we got ourselves another golden seed. Not that you're really going to need it at this point. All right, so. Lots of these enemies along. Even more. There's also these enemies. And in fact, there's two of them. So these things basically are ants being ridden by the same enemies that we've been dealing with. I recommend killing the ant first because you can lock on to the ant and the enemy. Otherwise, though, we're actually going to complete this area a little bit later. Because I want to get us a grace. So we're going to run for this building here. Because what's left is basically the lower area of Noxtella now. But we've gone through the upper area and ended up at the other end of Noxtella. This is our next destination after we finish up Noxtella though, so... We're gonna go ahead and grab the Grace, talk to Ronnie. So definitely to want to make sure you talk to Ronnie, you'll get a lot more of her story from your interactions with her while she's a doll. Otherwise, I think that's going to wrap it for the episode. We're sitting at about 30-ish minutes. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go back upstairs to pick up all the rest of the items. Uh, then we're going to come down here and clear out most of this area leading up to the Lake of Rot. Uh, we're not actually going to be finishing the Lake of Rot in uh, the next episode, however, because it leads to a boss that we're not really equipped yet for. Um, it's actually the uh, ending boss for Ronnie's quest line. So, uh, other than that, though, we'll tackle that in the next episode, next couple of episodes anyway. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.